My name is Jordan Jansen, I'm 16 years old and I'm a singer from Gold Coast, Australia. I first started posting videos on YouTube in 2006, right when YouTube first started. And the only reason we did was because all my family lives in New Zealand and they always wanted to hear me sing, so I'd sing to them on the phone and that was never the same as actually seeing them. So someone told me about YouTube and we uploaded some videos on there thinking that it was purely a private thing. You'd send someone a link, no one else would see it and we were like so wrong. And then they just started getting views and people like started making requests and mom actually freaked out that all these strangers were seeing me and then she pulled down all the videos and then I kept on getting requests of people asking me to sing more songs so in the end I just kept on going. There's actually original videos on my first YouTube channel, Little Cherubs, which was an account that my mom made, which is why it's called Little Cherubs. So when I started to get older, yeah. I thought, okay, I can't really have Little Cherubs as my username, so I remade Jordan Jensen Music. I've looked back on a couple of videos and thought, wow, I can't believe I uploaded that. But then, like it was just me like progressing through like each video slowly got better and better. I got more experience, more vocal lessons. And so like if you start from video one and work to my last video, you just like, I don't know, it's like a really cool kind of story type thing. And yeah. no matter how bad it was, people still stayed with me. So if I didn't start out on YouTube, then I think I really like crime shows like CSI and Criminal Minds and stuff so I'd either want to be like one of those guys or a pilot like flying pilot I think that would be fun so either one of them when I'm songwriting I like to either be in like a blank room or like in a really colorful place like a beach or whatever and then um just start writing the first thing that comes to mind and yeah hopefully it turns out to be something good <laughs> um well, being in the music industry, I get compared to Justin Bieber a lot, which I personally think is actually like a really cool thing to even be compared to his level of fame because he has basically opened up a new door to all artists in the music industry, especially on YouTube. So for people to even think that I could be like compared to him is kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's been some pretty fun, crazy fans, like it's gonna sound kind of bad but it's kind of funny when they start hyperventilating that they're, they're fine <laughs> but like I know they just start breathing and then their faces go really red and it's like kind of funny and they don't know what to say and then they like start fully stuttering <laughs> what do you do when they do that? Um, I just try to talk to them and calm them down and ask them how their day's been like <laughs> trying to get their mind off of things yeah. well a lot of them ask me to kiss them like on the lips and stuff so <laughs> I have to draw the line at cheeks but yeah, that's probably kind of weird. <laughs> My favorite artist is probably Ed Sheeran. He, his new album and all of his old ones as well are amazing and just like his style of music is so chill and laid back. And his writing skills are amazing too. I actually have had a YouTube celebrity crush. There was, there is an artist called Christina Grimmie and like her music is awesome and she's really pretty. So she's pro, she's was probably my YouTube crush. And she just did work with my producer too, like right before I went into the studio. So I was like, oh, I just missed her. I have never been in a relationship. I've been single since day one, so forever alone. Uh, there was someone special in like grade seven, but then like I could never find the courage to actually ask her out. And then she ended up dating someone else. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> just dating someone else. <laughs> We were practically dating in my mind. <laughs>